is Judy Walden Scarafile. I am the president of the Cape Cod Baseball League, and today we are in the Cape Cod Baseball League Hall of Fame and Museum. We are part of the JFK Hyannis Museum. We are located on the lower level. When you get in the elevator, the B stands for baseball and nothing else. The Cape League has had several milestones. It really started right after the Civil War when Union soldiers brought the game back from their, their New York brethren who they taught it to in between battles. They brought it back and used to have a 4th of July parade and one of the biggest parts of it was having a baseball game between towns. That really was the forerunner of the Cape League. I think we give the community um, a real gift and that's wholesome family entertainment that's free. One of the major factors in drawing competitive talent here summer after summer is the allure of Cape Cod, also the hard work of the volunteers, uh, you know, as well as the wood bats. I can't, we were the first summer league to go to wood bats in 1985. That gave us a leg up, I think, on all the other summer leagues. The opportunity to see players who you don't know are going to be stars. The stars of tomorrow shine tonight is one of our slogans. Um, so you are looking at future baseball players in Major League Baseball and you don't really know, you sure don't know in June. You may have an inkling in July and a really good inkling in August and you'll know in a year when they get drafted. Most of our talent comes from the top 30 NCAA Division I colleges. Most of the talent, I'd say 75% of the talent comes from those top 30 schools. Basically you're taking the best talent in the whole country, the best of the best. Just take pitching for instance. You're getting most of the ace of the top Division I pitching staffs, bringing them all to the Cape, and they're going against the top batters from the country. So you're putting these all these people together in a very pristine environment on Cape Cod, and they're playing for eight to 10 weeks during the summer. Our playoff games draw two, three, 4,000 people, and there's such excitement about winning because it's not just the players winning for the team, it's the, the fans rooting for their town. And it's really, it's just great baseball. We've identified 990 players over the years that have worn a Cape League uniform that have gone on to the major leagues. Currently there are over 250 players in the major leagues that have formed in the Cape League over the past 15 to 20 years. If you take the other seven or eight summer leagues across the country, and you total them together, they don't come close to the success we've had with Major League Talent.